You're so beautiful, just the way you are. Yay, yay. Now, members of the squad, I can't stop but continue to express my joy and my excitement and my happiness at seeing Prince Harry and Meghan so, so happy as they continue having a good time at Santa Barbara Polo Club. These truly are incredible moments that we all need to remember and mark. Now, members of the squad, first of all, I want to say this. Abigail Spencer was also at Meghan's side while Meghan went on to watch Prince Harry continue playing polo at Santa Barbara Polo Club and they won their polo match. And Abigail Spencer has always been there by Meghan's side. Now, let me say just a few words about Abigail Spencer in which you see being next to Megan. Now, when the palace accused Megan of these bogus bullying allegations, Abigail Spencer was one among many, many friends that came to Megan's defense. And she had this to say about Megan. And I quote, She's modeled nothing but generous professionalism on sets and even more generous friendship in private. Actress Abigail Spencer wrote of a former Suits co-star and longtime friend Megan Duchess of Sussex. And Abigail Spencer joined a growing list of Megan's friends and colleagues defending her against bullying allegations leveled by the palace. And so the Suits alumni who attended Megan's wedding to Prince Harry in 2018 spoke out in defense of a former co-star and longtime friend in a lengthy social media post that when that the royal family the day that the royal family accused Megan falsely of bullying now she said this and i quote she is more than nothing but generous professionalism on set and even more generous friendship in private i've learned so much from Megan the power of a handwritten note the loveliness of surprise flowers that she has a perpetual rolodex in her brain of recommendations for the heart, soul, and body. She has been there for me and physically held me in my darkest hours. After my dad died, after a gut-wrenching breakup, she brought me into a home and nursed me back to health. Soup and salad waiting in the kitchen, just if I needed it. The actress continued, she's taken my son in as her own. I can't tell you the value of having another working mother I can lean on when with the pressures of visibility and child-rearing woes become overwhelming. She's always been a safe harbor for me, someone I can fall apart in front of and with and I have. Now, as her post continued, Spencer recalled spending time with Meghan and Prince Harry also at a polo match with Harry played in for a charity center ball. Noting that there were no photographers present, the actress reflected on an interaction her friend had with a little girl. So members of the squad, as we are now even learning even more and more about Abigail Spencer, the person that you see next to Megan at Santa Barbara Polo Club, we know that she has always been by Megan's side time and time again, always and forever. And I'm glad that Megan keeps around very, very much close friends and she had this there about Megan and I quote I could tell that that little girl saw herself in Megan Spencer wrote Megan told her that she could be anything she wanted to be and do anything she wanted with her life she hugged her and the little girl went skipping back to her family and this is Abigail Spencer recalling an interaction when Prince Harry was playing a polo match for Santa Barbara Charity a while back and members of the squad, now she's also been invited at Santa Barbara Polo Club to watch Prince Harry play. And also, they're contributing to charity. And they have so much respect for Megan's true friend. And she says this, she continues by saying this. This is the person I've known for the past 14 years. I'm extremely private about my friendship with Meg. I'm not here to tell you her story. That's for her. Spencer continued. So why am I writing this now? I felt drawn in all this melee with all the untruths swirling around to present something real. 
from a real friend about a real friend. There are some people who are so bright and exude such deep purpose that they change the molecules in the air simply through their being. She was all of this from the moment I met her 14 years ago and remains so to this day. She continued, Meg walks the walk. She's a doer. In the face of darkness, she shows up in light and in love. When they go low, she goes high again and again. She walks tirelessly, tirelessly and often quietly for the causes that she believes in. Spencer went on to praise the commitment to service that Meghan shares with her husband, Prince Harry. She said this, she and Prince Harry are an incredible team. They are dedicating their lives to lifting up and amplifying those who do not have a voice for themselves, the actress wrote, and members of the squad. That's just one person who, when Meghan was accused bogusly, those false allegations of bullying, someone like Abigail Spencer, they all stood up. Alongside Patrick J. Adams, all stood up to defend Meghan, the person that they worked for alongside for decades, sorry. A person that they worked alongside for decades. Abigail Spencer has known Meghan for 14 years. And to this day, Abigail Spencer is indeed Meghan's true friend. And I love that. I love that about Meghan. I love that about Meghan. I love that so, so much. And members of the squad, some people had something to say about this beautiful picture of Abigail Spencer alongside Megan, Duchess of Sussex. Someone called Maria Wolf said this, two naturally beautiful independent women. Love that. They are giving rich ladies vibes. I love it for them. Machi Machi, someone called Bo said that. I will say that Abigail's dress is as classic. I love it on Megan as well. And they both look amazing. Megan is stunning. Another called Eric the Dane says this. Abigail has always had Megan's back. So happy to see that Megan is surrounded by her trustworthy and close friends in California. And another person said, that's how you roll. Megan Markle is settling the state on fire. Setting the state on fire. Sorry. Setting the state on fire. And Megan just looks so beautiful. She looks so beautiful. And I believe that her true beauty isn't just on the outside that we can see. Megan is indeed very, very much beautiful. Gorgeous, beautiful. But her true beauty is on the inside. She's a good person. As you've heard what I've said about what Abigail Spencer said about her friend Megan. All those amazing words that she said. Megan has committed to a life of service. To help others, to make this world a better place. And I love Prince Harry and Meghan for their kindness, for who they are. They are good people with good, amazing hearts. Very, very good hearts. And thank you so much for Abigail Spencer for coming to support our amazing, beautiful princess, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. Another called Zainab said this, Abby and Meg. Someone called Chate Chai said this. Oh, love, love to see Megan and Abigail together. Megan has good friends in a social circle and they are twinning their outfits. Ah, Abigail, love them together. Twinning the most sincere form of friendship. As I've said that, a true friend will always be there for you in your bad times and also in your good times. Abigail Spencer stood up to defend Megan when the royal family came up with those bogus bullying allegations. And truly, she's a very, very much good friend. I'm thankful for every single Suits cast member that stood up, Patrick J. Adams, and every single member that stood up to defend their friend, Megan Duchess of Sussex. I deeply love that so, so much. Another one even said, by Mary Adams said this, love this for her. Best friends forever. Such a beautiful picture, another one said. This is adorable. Missed seeing them together. I'm sure all the cast from Suits are there. Abigail Spencer. Megan and Abigail are so, so beautiful. I love this so much. 
members of the squad. Abigail Spencer, may Gun's friendship, may they continue being the best of friends. Now members of the squad. Another thing that I also have probably not shown you is the fact that actually more photos of Prince Harry and Meghan walking around the field and posing for pictures with their friends and walking and speaking to people who are present for the polo match that came to see the polo match and members of the squad. I'm just so thankful. Thankful that Prince Harry and Meghan are so free and I'm happy to get these HD pictures of Meghan, more and more pictures of Meghan and they're both so happy. Prince Harry and Meghan are really, really so happy. And let me share some more comments about some people about these pictures that I'm showing to you right now. Someone said this, someone will have to pry my phone out of my hands today as I won't get anything done with these beautiful pictures to look at. I absolutely love this look on her and it is now one of my favorites and indeed it is. It is. Another one said that it was a struggle doing laundry and cooking dinner today. Do you see the love and admiration that Megan is receiving from the comments that I'm reading out to you? And I love this so much. I love this so much, members of the squad. I love this so much. Prince Harry and Megan are finally free. Free at last. Free at last. Free at last. Free at last to live out their lives the happily ever after story and i love them so so much i love them so so much i love prince harry and megan so so much and that beautiful heart by megan wow it is beautiful because california is so so sunny and someone even said this like that the royal family told her to be less glamorous to be less of herself and she tried but even when she did it was still too much for the royal family. The royal family couldn't handle it. And I'm glad that Megan can now breathe freely. Freedom looks so good on her, finally. After everything that she's been through, indeed. Freedom, joy, happiness looks so good on Megan, Harry, and their friends. Just to have their good friend Megan back, like Abigail, having their friend Megan back truly must mean a lot. Now, members of the squad, as I continue, some people have also shared even way more comments that there'll be tears on South Island. As a matter of fact, I have noticed some royal experts, the carnival or so-called expert also becoming so pissed. Seeing Prince Harry and Meghan happy is truly triggering to some Karens. They can't stand it. And, and let them... Be more tearful because, ladies and gentlemen, Prince Harry and Meghan love one another. They have two beautiful kids and they are finally happy. They bullied them out of the UK. So they should get over Prince Harry and Meghan. Oh, but they can't. If they haven't been able to for all these years, clearly they'll never ever be able to. And someone shared to me also a picture of Meghan, the people's princess. Some people who are shaking Meghan's hand. I'm like... Hey, look, I wish that I get to also meet Megan. I think I'd faint. <laughs> I would faint. I would faint if I ever met Megan. I must say that. I would faint, to be honest with you. Because she's someone that I deeply admire and I respect. I don't even know if I'll even wash my hand if I ever met Megan, to be quite frank with you. I'd say these hands shaked Megan's hands. <laughs> That's how I probably feel, members of the squad. And some have even said that. Hey, look. He always looks so happy when people show her love. Like, yep, I have good taste. And that's why Prince Harry is always happy. Because whenever they walk around, talk with people, and with the photos that I'm share with, sharing with you, the photos that I'm sharing with all of you, you can see that people want to meet Megan. As Harry said, like, he can go to a place and say, Hi, Harry. So, where's Megan? Where's your wife? And he'll be like, it's okay. It's cool. And members of the squad, did you love, just love Prince Harry and Meghan? I love Prince Harry and Meghan. I love what's inside of them. Good people with good hearts who want to make this world a better, better place. And every single person who shakes Meghan's hand 
You can see the, in their eyes how deeply happy they are at being around Megan. How joyful they are at being around Megan. And Salty Island must be looking at this picture and hoping and begging that the Queen's Jubilee they'll be able to catch a glimpse of Harry and Meghan. And I hope that Harry and Meghan make sure that the tabloids don't even come even close to Prince Harry and Meghan. I sincerely hope so, to be quite frank with you. I know that I'm asking for too much, but I seriously hope the tabloids don't even come a meter close to Meghan. Don't even come close to her. The tabloids don't come close to her. And they stay as far away from Harry and Meghan. We know they won't do it. We know that they won't, they're not going to do that. They won't keep themselves from going to Frommel Cottage to try and catch a picture of Harry and Meghan. I know that will not stop the tabloids from doing that. However, I sincerely hope that Prince Harry and Meghan's security team also do a good job in keeping the tabloids as far, far away and make sure that Harry and Meghan's visit to the UK for the Queen's Jubilee is as safe as possible for Prince Harry Megan, Archie, and little bit Diana, and that they are safe while they go there to the Queen's Jubilee because it's approaching members of the squad. It's approaching. I think it's only a matter of days now to the Queen's Jubilee and members of the squad. But let me not talk about that. Let me just stop talking about that. Let's talk about, let's listen to the comments from people about seeing Prince Harry and Megan today. Someone said this, Dr. Zanya said this. And cheers to this man for being the kind of brother that Prince Harry deserves while talking about Nacho Figueras. He has always been a true brother to Prince Harry. And someone even said this, I'm so happy that he has a real brother. Not of the same womb, but more of a brother in every sense. And he continued by saying that while Diana would be sad about her other son being uh, evil, She'll be glad that her baby found a brother of the covenant of true friendship and real brotherhood. Not by blood, but by good, good friendship. And they truly love, respect, and admire one another. And you can see it in their eyes, even by how Nacho and Harry look at one another. And someone even said this about Nacho, that truly Nacho is a blessing for standing by Harry and protecting their little family. We know that Nacho even went to Ellen and said this. Prince Harry had seen these evil forces coming out against his wife, his children, and he had to protect his wife and children. Nacho said that in an interview with Ellen, and Harry has always kept his wife and children safe, far away from the toxic, racist institution of the monarchy. And the tabloids, this invisible contract that they have with that racist tabloids. And I'm glad that Harry has a true brother. A true brother in Nacho. Nacho is the brother Diana picked for Harry from where she is in heaven. Amen. Truly wonderful. And we love him for it. God bless him. Yes, that's true. Nacho is not only the best friend, but a true brother to Harry indeed. Someone else Say that. And I love that, members of the squad. I love that so, so much. Now, members of the squad, it has come to my attention that the whole squad is awake. And this is a happy party. That we are happy to see Prince Harry and Meghan sharing major, major cute public displays of affection like kissing. I love that so, so much. And someone will say that I love seeing them so happy and living their life free. And we love that too. Another one said that Harry and Meghan are just so cute, beautiful, with heart emojis. And they loved looking at it. And also, Meghan loves grabbing, touching Prince Harry's chest. And this is beautiful. This is just so beautiful. Meghan loves her husband and they look so, so good. They are such a cute, cute, adorable, romantic couple. I may God continue blessing Prince Harry and Meghan. They are so adorable. Love, and this is true, true love. True, true love. True, true love. True, true love. As I've said before, when Prince Harry and Meghan kiss, it's like the whole world stops. They're in love. They are in love. They are in love. 
Someone even said when Harry and Megan kissed that, hey, look, you two should go get a room. <laughs> members of the squad, members of the squad, they love one another. And when you love one another, I like that Prince Harry and Meghan are not shy of showing their love and affection in public. I love that so much. I love that so much. Even in a video in which after Meghan kissed Harry, he appeared to, you know, be wiping off of lipstick from Harry's lips, her lipstick. And that's romantic. That's romantic. Meghan always takes care of Harry, just as Harry always takes care of Meghan. And someone even said that, hey, look, I think I'm going to post this look at least a thousand times. Just silence me, please. She is perfect. And indeed, Meghan is perfect. Another commented, my wife. Yes, Prince Harry has always described Meghan as my wife and I. My wife and I. And when you look at Prince Harry and how he looks at Meghan, this man will do everything he can to ensure his wife and kids are happy. And they indeed are happy. And members of the squad. Now, as I end this podcast, I just want to say thank you also to Team Los Padres. They've done a good job. And thank you for everyone who came out, like Abigail Spencer, Rebel Wilson, who also came out to support Prince Harry, Team Prince Harry. She posted on her Instagram account. Thank you so much, Rebel Wilson, Abigail Spencer, and every single person who came out to donate and support these respective charities. Thank you so, so much. And may God bless your pocket, every single thing that you've managed to donate. They will come back to you tenfold. Thank you for what you've done and that which you are continuing to do for charity and to make this world a better place. Thank you for everyone who has donated and for Prince Harry and Meghan for doing this. Thank you to the Lost Parties team for playing this game for charity. They're doing a great, great job. Now, members of the squad, please stop everything you're doing for just a moment and let's admire Queen Meghan and King Prince Harry, they are beautiful. A beautiful couple. What a beautiful couple inside and out. Inside and out. And it is my biggest honor, my biggest honor to be a part of this community and see Prince Harry and Meghan happy after everything that they have been through. Prince Harry and Meghan being happy is quite a joy for me to watch. Quite a joy for us to watch, sorry. A joy for us to watch. And I love it so much. And I thank all of you members of this amazing community for joining this channel, supporting us also. And thank you to Prince Harry and Meghan for everything that you do to make this world a better place. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for daily and consistent content. Kiss, 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 Harry and Meghan. Kiss, 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 kiss. I love this too. I love them so, so much. Lilibet's birthday is also, is also coming up shortly. In June 4th will be Lilibet Diana's birthday. And I also come up with sing Baby Girl Lilibet Diana a happy, happy birthday. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. And I love your family. And I hope that you enjoyed this podcast. Harry and Meghan are happy. And long may God continue to bless them. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you family. Always and forever. Hello members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.